first stop of the day is the family-owned Tim Boone Rail Shed Distillery to get the inside word on the whiskey history of Tim Boone. So here in Tim Boone, we're all about making quality small batch craft whiskey. It's all single malt made on site here in our little pot still and aged in Australian port barrels. With the preliminaries out of the way, time to have a sip. So here we'll start you guys off on our port expression. It's a double distilled single malt whiskey. So we, we double distilled this one in our little pot still here in the corner. We aged an old port barrel, get a little bit of sweetness from, from the port that was in there previously. We also do a really heavy char to all our barrels to give the whiskey a little bit of a smoky finish. It also acts as a natural purification process as well. Charcoal um, takes out any impurities that might have got through the still. So it's a really sweet new make spirit with a little bit of a smoke at the end. Um, we are a very small business. A lot of the family members work in the business. Um, my parents actually do all the bottling and labelling. So every bottle is hand bottled, hand labelled and hand written on. How much do you pay um, them? Uh, in whiskey. In whiskey <laughs> bottles. So, uh, the mother-in-law actually runs a kitchen for us. My sister works in the business full time also. A bit of history in this neck of the woods when it comes to whiskey. At the turn of the 19th century, we had a, um, an illicit distiller in the area named Tom Delaney, famous for creating Mountain Dew back in the day. Um, he was cheeky enough to put the government stamp on it and go around bootlegging it everywhere. The local coppers couldn't catch him, so they enlisted a fellow by the name of John Christie. He came down and um, went undercover and busted Tom Delaney, so it put Tim Boone and Naranda on the map for, for distilling. We try and circle back to that here now at Tim Boone, and we named some of our lines after um, John Christie, so Christie's Cut is named after him to get people talking about what was happening 100 years ago. So Josh, that's good whiskey. Now you're not all about whiskey, are you? Apparently there's some gourmet food going around here too. We're part of a local gourmet food trail, so you can grab a map and you can go around the whole local region trying ice cream, cheese, chocolate, fudge, all sorts of different things. And then of course a little bit of whiskey, so we have a restaurant here as well. We try and use local produce in every dish, so we're all about you know using local and supporting everyone in the area. Can you pass a bit of that cheese please man? Good one. You choose. Surprise me. <laughs> kind of feels like the Great Ocean Road has a bit of everything. It's got the scenery, beautiful places to stay, everyone we've met has been so nice, and then just heaps of food to eat. But it's a perfect climate yeah. for enjoying the good foods and the good whiskies and all that sort of stuff because yeah. it's just you feel like warming up in the afternoon. We've got to make a few miles today, so we better not taste too many more, but we might grab a couple of bottles and uh, enjoy them over happy hour this afternoon back at the park. What do you reckon? I could not think of a better way to spend this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, what do you reckon? Oh, trust me. Oh, I know. All I wanted to do was have a quiet drink and he had to take it one step too far.